What if you could find out how long you'll live? And what if all it took was a simple blood test and several hundred dollars? Would you do it? Would you want to know? It's a conversation we had today here after we learned that what sounds like science fiction, in fact, is present right now. And Sharon Alfonsi has more. It's a simple blood test, and while most of us could handle this, could you stomach the results? The test will tell you how long you'll likely live. How? Well, it turns out your gray hair or even the wrinkles on your face are not the best indicators of how well you're aging. Rather, it's something called telomeres. Telomeres are the tips of your chromosomes. You're born with them. As you age, they shorten. This blood test actually measures them. If you have shorter than normal telomeres for someone your age, you're aging faster than normal and will have a shorter life. Shorter telomeres are often found in people with heart disease, obesity, Alzheimer's. It does not give you an expiration date. You might say, I'm a 70-year-old with telomeres of an 80-year-old. That doesn't mean you're going to die at 80. The test costs about $700, but do people really want to know how long they'll live? Would you want to know? No. I just feel that I, it's fate, and whatever's going to happen is going to happen. I don't want to know. And, you know I'll be old by then anyway. What if it said you only have a week left to live? And the test opens up an ethical Pandora's box. It's possible that health insurance companies can say, we just won't insure you unless you have this test done. It's possible that life insurance and also disability insurance companies may say, if you want us to give you life insurance and disability insurance, we want to know how long you're going to live. Still, for others, it offers a tantalizing opportunity. If you took the blood test and it said you only have you know, a month to live, how would you live life differently? I'd probably go traveling and I'd spend all of my money. <laughs> spend all your money because you can't take it with you. The blood test will first be sold in Europe later here. And there's a lot of interesting work going on in this field. Studies show that in the same way stress, smoking and drinking can shorten your telomeres, you can actually lengthen them as well through exercise, Diane, and they say even meditation. So a telomere alert is going out. You can lengthen them, and nobody wanted to know. That's right. No one. Not one person we spoke to wanted to know. Okay, Sharon, thank you.